Today joining me on the phone is Forex and Options Strategist Shant Mofsessian from Forecast in London. Shant, after Euro weakening during the last few months of 2011, it seems to have entered the new year the same way and pointing lower. In terms of mid to long term forecasts, I understand at Forecast you're expecting this currency pair to stay on quite a downward trend. Yes. Over the, the past six months, particularly, the uh, Eurozone officials, well, notably Merkel and Sarkozy, have been very slow to address the real issues. And it's actually just hard, the fact that there's very little they can do. I mean, um, building up various um, vehicles with which to sort of refinance the European banks, um, it's very clear that the, they're just building another layer of credit and the underlying problems of, uh, of, uh, of growth and within the whole region and generating the income to finally pay down this debt is actually going to be a big drag on the euro itself and at current levels it's not sustainable for all the eurozone economies to, to generate the growth and, and export business that's required to, uh, to get them out of this mess and I think that's what's the main thing that's, that's the main reason, of the key factor of why we're seeing the euro finally taking a, another leg lower. And uh, like I said, it's going to go a lot lower than this, I think. What about euro-pound then? How do you see this pair performing throughout the year? Well, much in the same way. I mean, the, the, you know, the guild market has been uh, hailed as a, as a potential, well, uh, as a safe haven, not potential safe haven. It is a safe haven. And uh, having um, previously praised uh, the sort of economic governance of, uh, of the current um, coalition, They've been quick to sort of uh, get quantitative easing uh, up and running and trying to get the economy uh, back on track. Austerity measures, as, as, as unpleasant as they are, uh, have had to be put in place. Uh, and we're taking the pain now, as it were. Um, and as such, uh, the market likes this and, uh, and sees the guild market as a, as a, as a safe place to, to park, park your cash. And like I said, the flight out of the euro can only mean one thing for euro stirring. So it's... Uh, it's, uh, it seems to have um, uh, exceeded expectations in the last few weeks, especially Euro Sterling, I think. You know, we were all looking at 80 uh, at some stage, and it looks like we could see that fairly, fairly soon. You know, we've, we were looking at 81 first. There's some key support levels coming up uh, ahead of 80, but uh, it all depends on Euro Dollar, and if it if breaks, breaks any lower and, and really starts to, to motor to the downside, then Euro Sterling will just go with it. And finally, let's move on to discuss the Euro's Swedish Krona. After cutting rates last month, a lot of analysts are predicting another interest rate cut by Sweden's central bank in the first half of 2012. What are your views at forecast and how is this affecting your forecast for this pair? The Euro stock keep pushing lower in the last couple of weeks especially has highlighted just how much real money is actually offloading euros rather than buying Swedish Krona. Where there was a risk of scenario we saw euro stocky pushing higher but now where it's just a wholesale a reduction of of euros from from sort of portfolios around the world it's it's pushing lower in response to uh, negative risk sentiment um and that just means one thing real money is getting rid of um getting rid of euros and uh, the stocky and Nokia are not so much benefiting but they're, they're, they're gaining on the back of domestic um, accounts in Sweden and Norway uh, reducing their single currency uh, exposure so my forecasts there aren't particularly um, outrageous in any way shape or form as they are with the euro dollar and euro sterling but, but it just goes to show that it's mainly a real money flow that's, uh, that's driving trade here and uh, as such speculative flow on the back of interest rate cuts isn't really going to move this market uh, too far. Thank you very much for speaking to Dukas Copy TV, Shunt. Now, for this week's last edition of Targets in Focus, I'll be speaking to Tony Nyman from Informa Global Markets, so make sure you stay tuned.